Huh? Ready? Let's go. Qatari against Kazakhstani. For the students who are not able to bring their laptop, so they can use the computer lab. Yes. I mean, I notice you. Hey, hello, hello to everyone. You know everyone. Yeah. Yeah? Which is I mean, good. We've been f really friends for ever yeah, since for, starting. Since we started the yeah. university. Yes. So. Yeah. Wow, that's mm. good. That's good. We are now arriving at Al Rayyan International University College in Qatar, which collaborates with the University of Derby in the United Kingdom. This partnership enables students to pursue accredited undergraduate and postgraduate programs from the UK and earn a British diploma. My colleague Adi from Mariadi will be taking us on a 3D tour of this institution today, exploring the specific academic programs offered here. Let's meet some local students and begin the tour. Al Ryan International University College. Students of this uh, very prestigious university worldwide known, mm -hmm. yeah? Yes. And your name is Beda? Yes, my name is Beda, Abdalam Salam. Proper Qatari guy, you know? So you're, you're, you were born and bred here yes, in Qatar, I'm in Doha? born and raised in Qatar. Born and raised, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, born and raised in... Russia, where? Let's go uh, uh, on a tour. Explore, yeah. So, a university is based here. Correct. Very modern building. Yes. Okay, and the name of that building is? Al Jazeera Tower. 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 Tower. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Okay, that's uh, where you come every day and uh, say hello. Uh, how to say hello in Arabic? Uh, hello. Hello. You say hello. 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 You say hello. Okay. All right. And uh, go to your classrooms. Oh, oh, this is all the accreditations we spoke about to uh, the headmaster of university, to the principal. Yeah. Yeah. Accreditations from Al Faisal Holding. That's not the accreditation, actually. No. So Al Rayyan International University College is part of. Uh, Al-Faisal Holding. Al-Faisal Holding? Al-Faisal Holding. All right. So other education organization as well, like a, a Golf English School, mm -hmm. uh, like a Sports Academy. So. What does Al-Faisal Holding do, actually? Uh, it's it's a cluster company, basically, under Sheikh Al-Faisal. Mm -hmm. So they have different uh, kind of uh, organizations under this holding company. So you can see 42. Mm -hmm. It's a fitness center, basically. Ah. And, uh, and then uh, Tumbles, it's uh, something coming soon. And it's not open yet. It's focusing on sports for little kids, basically, younger mm -hmm. ones. Uh, and then we have the Sports Academy as well. And then we have Sheikh Faisal. Yeah, I recognize. This is you guys. Yeah? Yes, OK. Yes, yes. OK. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking, does this uh, make uh, your students, your graduates, more like favorable when it comes to some of the companies related to the holding. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, also in terms of employability. Yes, employment. Uh, Faisal also has a very famous uh, his, uh, museum uh -huh. uh, that's uh, displaying all these uh, private uh, collections. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So from different parts of the world. Basically. I went there before. Yes. You did. It's fantastic. It's and he has he has his own uh, his yeah. own pattern. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He has and his own what sir? His own pattern. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When choosing any educational institution, it's crucial to get a feel for its atmosphere. For example, we often suggest that our clients visit Eunice of their interest in person, and we arrange these campus tours for students. However, even an in-person visit might not be enough, as there are details that you can only learn from the inside. That's why, even if you already have some solid options in mind, contact Mariadi for your consultation. There's a good chance we know information that you won't find on the internet. Let's head back to the uni and start the tour, but not with the classrooms. Instead, let's begin with the cafeteria. First floor. First floor. First floor. Ah, oh, you have your own cafeteria here. You can play that mini football here. Are you any good? Well, I do play it sometimes. You do play? Mm -hmm. Do you need to pay for it? No, you don't need to pay for Where's it. Where's the ball then? Uh, the ball should be. They always put it inside the goal. Huh? Or oh, there's a ball. Can you hold there, that yeah, for a second? Right there. <laughs> okay. I, I challenge you. Go on. All right. Yeah? Let's, Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm team blue. Let's go. Yeah, I'm team, I'm team red. Ready? Let's go. Qatari against Kazakhstani. 
Yeah. Well, right? I'm British, but it's okay. It's more into the British. It's boring, you know. <laughs> no, Qatar right. against Kazakhstan. Let's go. Roll the ball. Yeah, roll the ball. <laughs> I'm just making it, you know. Oh, oh no! That was quick. Okay, well, fair, fair. Such a fair, great fair game. game. <laughs> so, <laughs> FIFA. FIFA, World Cup. Future FIFA. <laughs> World Hopefully. Cup. Let me lose okay, some bit of weight, though. It's, it's a, a, a air conditioned. I keep saying that, but it's silly, you know, because everything is air conditioned yes. here. Yeah. here. So because Qatar, it's really hot. For, for those who study in the UK, probably some of the students of ours will be watching this video, they will be like, really? Air conditioned? <laughs> <laughs> because nothing air conditioned in the UK. Yeah. It's a very rare case. So like you come here to grab like something some to something eat? Something to eat, something yeah. to drink. Mostly mm -hmm. we like to uh, here. come here, pick up coffee and uh, attend the class. They allow us to bring coffee, but for food we just gotta eat from here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Do you do students bring their own lunch boxes? Some uh, of them? So there some of the, yeah, they can do. Some students prefer that way, or some people, uh, students prefer to order uh, food from outside. We so use Salabot app. Uh, app. Because you are so uh, central, there's so many restaurants yeah. here, isn't there? Yes, yeah. there's a lot. Yeah. From the canteen. Yeah. yeah, especially if some students will rather instead of ordering food and come here and stay, mm -hmm. or they can just you know go outside go near a small. Yeah, we have yeah. Meal, near small two mall, yeah. gate mall, and city center. Shopping centers yeah. with, the, with the own food courts. Probably. Yes, yeah, yeah. Many correct. Restaurants. Yeah. Many, many restaurants yeah. as well. Yeah. If I want to go sushi, I go to city center. To sushi oh, okay. Library. Thank you for the mm -hmm. tip. For the tip. Well, what do you usually have? It's just sandwiches. Can are there any hot sandwiches here? Yes. Yes. Is. Cold and hot. Yeah. And some some of the cakes. Nice coffee. I, I tried the coffee this morning. It was really nice. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Was for you? Yeah. <laughs> the express. Yeah, it was an espresso. You're right. Thank you very much for making it. Yeah. Very good coffee. Nicely brewed. Just before the tour, Adil managed not only to try some delicious coffee, but also to interview almost everyone he could. Links to these videos are in the description. Now let's head back to the campus and go up to the second floor, where the computer lab is located. Unfortunately, during Adil's tour, classes were being held there, so he couldn't enter the room. But his new acquaintances told him about the opportunities this lab offers. So, uh, it's a business-related uh, IT module, yes, yeah? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, spreadsheets and all this uh, access, uh, Microsoft. And for the students who are not able to bring their laptop, so they can use the computer lab, so as they register their username and password, and they can access their work. Ah, so what course do you do? You do hospitality? I do tourism management skills. Ah, okay. The system we are using is from the university department yes. as well. So mm -hmm. we log in the system in case they need any articles, research, mm -hmm. they want to check and review. And they can also use this. Correct. Course. And we also wanted to or check go our... To library. Yeah, yeah go to a library and we wanted to check our assignments. Mm. So that's a but, but way methods we can do. Mm -hmm. Was it the third or fourth? Just like Adil mentioned earlier, he had the chance to speak with the heads of all the undergraduate programs, including the International Tourism Management course. Meet Ali Abdallah. Here's what he shared with us at Mariadi about tourism and the prospects that await graduates of this specialty. It's, it, it is a generic market. It yeah. depends. It depends how you see tourism and what your passion in tourism is. So you, what I'm trying to say here, if, my, if your passion was sport, mm -hmm. you, you relate it to tourism and then you develop a sports career, not a tourism career. Mm -hmm. uh, my passion has always been culture, so I ended up uh, studying culture and tourism. Mm -hmm. So the unique aspect of tourism is that you can combine it with whatever your passion is. I, I know students that like fashion and uh, they, 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 studied, they, yeah. they studied fashion, shopping they studied tours. malls and shopping, shopping and, tours, yeah. and they did the research about luxury, luxury shopping in, in London, for example. So this was their area of studies. So it gives you this privilege. Can I just say medical tourism, for example? Yes, if, a, yes, absolutely, field. absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, it's well, it's part tourism. of. I just came out of a class now about niche tourism, and we've shifted from mass consumptions 
to a specific uh, markets. markets, which is niche tourism. So if you like magic or you're into magic or uh, hunting or whatever, that's there's a big... Or authentic cars. Yes, instance, because yeah. us, as we no longer want the, the same product again and again. So niche we don't want... Oh, yeah. interesting. So niche tourism is what's developing now, and we're, the countries around the world are working on sustainable niche tourism. So we want to sustain it for a, a long-term consumption. Uh -huh. Yes. All bachelor's degree programs at this university are four years long. A good portion of this time is spent in, yes, classrooms. You'll see them in just a couple of minutes. But before that, let's have a look at the library. The list of the books, what kind of books are you okay, looking for? Okay, so they're divided into sections categories. by topic, categories, okay. Uh -huh. And are they only um, academic books here? And in German? Also, uh -huh. some books can help us for our assignments. Uh -huh. And some teachers can recommend us a book, we can check on it. That's not very Qatari, the wine and beer and spirits. I mean, uh, even if it's not Qatari, it's... It's, it's part of hospitality, hospitality isn't it? But yeah. at the same time, it's part of how we have to work international. It's exactly, not just it it's only international hospitality, hospitality. Yeah. yeah. You have to think international, outside of the box. Outside of we the box. Of, uh, I mean, we do need to keep our culture, heritage, everything, yeah. but we still need to welcoming the international people. Yeah. Respect uh, others. And respect others is important. And the, yeah, uh, respect others and they will respect you, yeah? Keeping the tradition as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quantitative analysis, that's what we spoke uh, to about uh, with Anu. Dr. Anu Kirk. Yeah, yes. because she's a very strong economist and financist. Mm -hmm. And my favorite field, marketing. Yeah. I'm a marketing guy. It's good that you have that uh, facility. And uh, I'm sure you have uh, electronic resources as well. Of course we do. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you do? Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can log into the uh, University of Derby system as well to mm. look for the articles and, and materials you would like to read. Most universities in the UK have an online library. What does it include? Academic journals, e-books and other resources that can be used for research and coursework. Students can access all of this from anywhere they have an internet connection. This is the floor maybe, we have an auditorium. Do you want to film one classroom? Yeah, let's yeah. go see the classroom. We need, wait, we need a classroom has a view of the ocean. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. So uh, on the fourth floor. Too, fourth yeah. floor. Or, uh, fourth the floor one that we got interviewing. Yeah. Okay. So this is a normal classroom. What's the maximum yeah. class size? 40, 50, we have bigger classrooms. Yeah, yeah. you have bigger ones. Like one. the first time we feel 40, 50. Mm -hmm. We have auditorium. Yeah, but this is less here, no? This is less, yeah. Yeah. Another classroom can be 15, 20. Yeah. Could be arranged. Could be arranged. Anastasia, Sometimes. as you've been a, a good student, you probably take uh, the first row. No? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. From no matter where you sit, you can still see a lecture, see lecture. and the professor is moving all around. Oh, they yes. do? So they walk yeah, yeah. toward... Also, yeah. we, uh, we do combination of classes. So if tour, uh, hospitality students and tourism has the same subject, they get, uh, gather combined. in one uh, combined. That's one why group. you're like all, all one family, yes. yeah, regardless right. to what course you do. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I notice you, yeah, yeah, hello, hello to everyone. You do everyone, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Which is um, good. We've been really friends for ever yeah, for, since starting. Since we started the yeah. university. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's mm. good. That's good. And yeah, I'm sure you will uh, carry this friendship. Hopefully, through. inshallah. Inshallah. In inshallah. inshallah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Do you do a team project sometimes? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Of course we do. There is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. However, the last project. the last year is individual only. La uh, last year, last because year you need individual. to focus on your dissertation. Your dissertation. Yeah. Yes. You want to see more classrooms? Are you a final year as well? No, I'm a for third year. I almost, uh, once I'm done third year, hopefully I'll have one more year and I'm done. And, and then you're done? Yes. You're going to do your masters, maybe? Hopefully. Yeah. I just need to uh, manage everything, my time with uh -huh. my family, uh -huh. manage my own time, and hopefully I can have my own time for masters. Do you have many siblings? Yeah, I do have siblings. Oh, yeah? Perfect. Let's go, guys. 
To study in an English-speaking country, every applicant needs to provide an international language proficiency certificate. But which one is suitable for admission to Al Ryan International University College? Let's find out from the head of the admissions committee, Otmain Sadoki. And then when a student uh, is accepted, uh, conditional, unconditional offers, do you have such things like uh, UK universities? Yes, there? yes, we have unconditional, that's when the student meets all the requirements. The conditional is when the student is missing one or two things. IELTS, for instance. Uh, well, don't exactly. IELTS? We, we, don't, we don't really uh, make conditional because of IELTS. So if the student, for example, completed three years of study in, edu in English, we don't need IELTS. No, obviously. So yeah. that's, uh, that, that's But that. if they study in... If they study in a different language, then IELTS is a preferred option. Mm -hmm. Other options like TOEFL, for example, is also accepted. Cambridge? Uh, uh, Cambridge also accepted. Mm -hmm. But if none of these is available, then we will ask them to do a test. Oh, you have your own internal test? We have our test. own internal test. Perfect. So if they meet all the requirements to join the program, and the only thing they are missing is the English, then we do help them with this local test. That That's makes an, it so much easier, isn't it? Does, it? it does, it does. Yeah. It does. And it, can this test be done online? Um, we haven't tried with the online version yet. No. But so what because of the, the identity issue, so we need to check the identity of the student. Can I share experience of other institutions, what they Please, do? Please, yes. They just switch cameras on. On, yeah. Yeah, and that's it. And the student types yeah. while he's doing the test. They, so that we didn't have the need yet, let me ah. put it this way. We didn't have students coming from abroad asking for an, an English language test, that's our local one, we call it DELT. Uh, but this is so something you may be, be willing to consider. Yes, in the of future, course. Yeah? Yes, definitely, definitely. Because sometimes definitely. IELTS uh, to get the appointments, it yes. could be difficult, you know. And especially costly also if you have to do it twice or something. Or that, and what uh, we test here in our test mm -hmm. is actually tailor made for our program. Mm -hmm. That's the positive thing for us. So uh, maybe things that IELTS are asking for, we don't need them here. You can learn more about all the admission requirements and procedures during your personal consultation with Mariadi. Meanwhile, let's proceed to the university lecture hall. So this is the biggest auditorium. Mr. Nija! <laughs> so this is the auditorium. Okay. Uh, so we do uh, events here as well. So we do uh -huh. like bigger meetings, a conference, and we, we, we do it here. Okay. So that's where the professor stands and go, goes like, uh, better, yes. please uh, answer the question. Just, just pretend like you <laughs> just sit right. there. Yes, sir. Uh, please uh, tell everyone what SWOT analysis are. Ooh. S All right, SWOT so analysis has uh, each category, which is uh, strength, which is for S, which, and W for... Uh, if, uh, if I'm correct, uh, yeah, Anastasia, why don't you help? Yeah, sure. SWOT analysis is used in the uh, external and internal ways of analyzing right. companies and the strategies. Uh, S stands for strength, as the batter mentioned. Then there is weaknesses, uh, weaknesses yeah, and opportunities, opportunities and threats. And this was not uh, plans, okay? Yeah, that's yeah nice. well done. Yeah, that's which is good. Yeah, very good, very good. Let me do that too. Woohoo! Woohoo, -hoo, respect. <laughs> okay, good. Nice. Here's our brief 3D tour of the university. Did you like it? Let us know in the comments. And of course, by giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for spending this time with us. We'll see you again very soon.